Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this very late 1999 Mercedes-Benz E55 AMG. It's the update series. So being built in late 1999, it's an MY00 or MY2000. And being the update, it's got the much bigger body kit and it has the smoke tail lights so you can see it's darker in here and it's got the reverse light here and the indicator would running straight across whereas the older one used to have a half circle here and a half circle down the bottom it's totally original it's got the hammer AMG alloy wheels it's Zircon colour in with black leather interior which is probably one of the best colour combinations to have when it was brand new it was an option to get the two-tone white and black interior which looked great when they were new unfortunately once I get to this age they're not very desirable because usually the whites worn off dirty or damaged or both so we find the cars with the charcoal or black interior are far more desirable it's got two remote keys it's only done 192,000 kilometers has an excellent service history it's had a number of things replaced over the past few years it also benefits from the five-speed automatic transmission electronic stability control and pneumatic seats and obviously it's got the newer Tiptronic transmission. It also has heated seats, climate control, and it even has a leather inlay on the steering wheel, along with memory electric seats, electric steering column, electric folded mirrors, and the list goes on. We sold this car a number of years ago to a very fussy customer in Coffs Harbour. Um, we've got a folder which I took some photos of with a lot of work that's been done and the car is in absolutely beautiful condition. Sometimes there's a few E55s to sell, sometimes there's none. Most of them have done two to three hundred thousand kilometres and even if they are showing low kilometres they haven't been looked after so you might pick one up for ten or fifteen thousand dollars but you're going to be spending five or ten thousand dollars on mechanicals, whether it be engine mounts, air conditioning, compressor. The list goes on. Where well, this has had everything done, uh, they are a very reliable car, I must say. It's just got coilover suspension, no air suspension or hydraulic. So it's really just an engine and a gearbox. Very reliable motor. Um, I mean, look, the reality is if, if it hasn't been looked after that well, it'll probably be okay because it's such a strong engine. The 5.5 litre V8, it's naturally aspirated. It's got the very nice Euro plates on it as well, which suit the car perfectly. So we'll just go through a few receipts here. So at 163,000 kilometres, it had $1,600 spent on, huh, there you go, engine mounts, gaskets, Oh, it had the rear main oil seal done as well, which is pretty common on the 55 motor. I'd, I'd it done on my car. Automatic transmission fluid, good. Gear lever bush, yeah, so that's when you go from park to drive and it goes click, 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 click. That's because the uh, selector bushes have worn out. They're not expensive, but it's worth doing. Battery. Had some tyres. Wow, expensive tyres, 12, 12.05. Um general servicing another service at 170 replace automatic transmission wiring guide yep it's pretty cheap see look at these bills like that's a hundred dollars you know like we're not seeing you know huge bills this is a thousand dollars you know for front and rear brake pads steering rack Input shaft seals, front brake pads, rear brake fluid, steering seal kit. You know, it's a thousand dollars. Like we're not. You know, there's another hundred dollar front sway bar linkage. A hundred dollars. I mean, 
<laughs> it's pretty impressive really when you consider the later models you know you'd probably have to replace one of the air shock absorbers and you'd be looking at about 12 or 1400 dollars there's a service book so look it's had a lot quite a lot of work done which is fantastic um, I don't honestly believe it requires anything at the present time. It was just driven from Coffs Harbour today. It looks absolutely perfect. You know, a couple little marks on the wheels, but we're starting to be quite fussy here. The timber works excellent. It's obviously been garaged. And I think it would suit a very fussy buyer. They had Xenon headlights as standard. Being an update with under 200,000 kilometres with a good service history, I think makes this car very good value for money. But I think it needs to be seen to be appreciated. And I think this was probably the last of the best AMGs. They were really built to last. We'll start it up. Heated seats, aircon's ice cold already. Washers for the front lights. The radio works well. Got the folding mirrors. Winter you start in second gear, summer you start in first gear. I guess starting in second gear is absolutely fine on an AMG. Electronic stability program, so it's not just ASR, like a skid regular, you know, for uh, traction control, it's electronic stability control, so it will actually keep you on the road. But it's a very impressive car. There you go, no malfunctions. It says the fuel consumption is 9.6 litres per 100 kilometres. It's obviously the trip today. And 11.7 on average. Very impressive. Yeah, they really are great cars. These E55s. And we think this is a particularly good one. We have sold it before. And uh, we're certainly very happy that we, we get to find a new home for it. And we hope they look after it as well as the, the current owner. I'd certainly be happy to answer any questions you might have. But if you're looking for what we think is one of the best E55s available at the present time, and very well priced, this is it. And we are the Old Timer Centre. We specialise in European cars just like this one. We've been doing it for a long time. And I'd be certainly more than happy to answer any questions you might have. Thanks for watching. We certainly look forward to hearing from you soon.